And just to let you know what a Ponzi scheme is, here, let me show you. This is what a Ponzi scheme is. Right? There's a lot of these around. There's a lot of these around, right? This is a Ponzi scheme, okay? Joe Blow comes along and talks to all these Joe Blows here. They got money. This guy wants money. All right. Thanks, Jisho. Appreciate it. You're welcome, Olive. Uh, I'll try to remember. I gotta put 10, 10 a.m. here for myself, so I don't forget. Okay. He even got banks investing people's money. Yeah. Why did he get banks investing people's money? Because those investors, fund managers, were getting kickbacks. Right. They're getting paid off. They didn't look at the numbers. They didn't care. Those fund managers, most of them are Joe Blows. They they know nothing. I've talked to some of them. They're simpletons. They don't they don't really know what's going on. They're just getting bureaucracy reports coming in from the top telling them to push this fund, to push this, to push this, to push this. That's it. Most of them know nothing. Like really. Okay. So these guys have lots of money, right? And they need to, or they want to grow the money because they don't know what to do with their money, right? The only thing they've done in their lives is to make more money, right? Not all of them, but some people. That's the only thing they care about, is to make more money. And then once you make a ton of money, as Biggie says, more money, more problems, right? So you got to do something with your money. So they need to invest it to have differential accumulation, make more than it. In not only inflation but to beat the averages we've talked about this with differential equation right so they this guy's the idea guy here's a light bulb this guy's an idea guy sees these guys with lots of money they don't know what to do with it he says i got an idea hey i'll put out this little report throw in some functions in there some formulas make it a little complicated because these guys don't know mathematics <laughs> they're nobody look at these suckers look at these suckers right he talks to these guys and these guys give this guy money right so now this guy has a pool of money right nice he's got some money right now in this function he tells these people look inflation is two percent inflation is two percent right the stock market the averages right is five percent where things are rising what people are making you want to beat the averages right so averages five percent which is still a lot so bernie madoff this guy comes along tells these guys i'm gonna beat this right you put your money anywhere else the best you'll do you'll get five percent return I'll give you 7% return per year, right? So this guy comes along and says, I'm giving you 7%. Right on, these guys say, right on, right? So these guys give this guy their money, and this guy returns 7% to these guys, right? Where's the scam? Here's the scam. This guy has taken their money and he's giving back 7% of their money back to them every year, right? So he's taking 100% of whatever they were willing to invest and giving them back 7%. So let's keep the numbers simple. Let's say this guy took $100 or $100,000 or $100 million or $1 billion. This guy took $50 billion plus some, right? Let's assume he took $100 from these guys total. You can add a multiplier to this, whatever you want, right? And he's giving back 7%. So he's giving back $7 back to these guys every year. So he can live on this money for a while. And this guy was burning money. He's buying houses, yachts, cars, traveling, big expensive dinners, parties up the yin-yang, right? 
So he's burning through this money. So he's giving these guys back seven dollars out of the hundred, right? But he's burning, let's say, twenty dollars. Twenty dollars burned. So at the end of the year, hundred minus twenty is eighty, and he's given seven dollars back to those guys, right? So he's got seventy-three dollars left. Right? My like he's making up, he's burning a lot of money, right? He's got seventy-three dollars back uh, or left in this fund but every year because he's running a fund he has to do yearly reports he has to show this thing growing right where he's invested money that's where his piece of paper that he had here scam mathematics he was writing things out saying oh i'm investing here investing here investing here investing here and we're making like 15 percent return right or nine percent return so he's giving back 7% and he's making 9% return on this, right? So theoretically speaking, he should be having $109 in this fund, right? How does he get away with that? Don't they get suspicious? Check this out. He ran this for 20 plus years, right? Now, this fund is decreased. He had 100. Now he's got 73 at the end of the year. And he has to show that he's made money. Where does he get his money? Oh, this is where he gets his money. He throws a party, right? Boop, extravagant party. Invites all these Joe Blows to come to the party and bring guests, right? He writes brilliant little reports. This is how much money we've made, right? So these guys, they got money to burn. That means they got friends that have money to burn. So the word gets out, right, that, hey, we're getting 7% return. These guys' friends are over here, right? They're only getting 5%. They're getting burned, right? They're getting 5%. They're getting 7%. These guys are chasing the dough. Those guys are making a bigger difference, right? So these guys go, hey, I'm going to give money to this guy. So this guy, the following year and during the year, he finds more suckers. People that don't know mathematics, right? With more money and gets an injection of another hundred dollars, right? Or a hundred million dollars or a billion dollars. He pays them back with other suckers' money. Exactly. So another hundred dollars comes along. Now at the beginning of next year or during the year, right? Now he's got $173 in his fund. Rock and roll, right? He can burn more than $20 now. Let's say he's burning $40. Buying more yachts, more parties, right? Because it's a great return on investment. Throw a party, you get more money coming in. Because these Joblos bring other Joblos that invest their money. Invest. Give this guy money, right? He burns $40 and returns 7% of this. What's 7% of... 73 more money more friends so 173 dollars 173 times 0 0.07 Boop. that's 12 dollars and 11 cents and 11 cents look at that so another 12 dollars and 11 cents 12 dollars and 11 cents goes to these guys the rest of these guys right that wouldn't be that actually it would be more because the hundred was here or whatever it was right it doesn't make a difference let's say it's 20 dollars doesn't matter here, let's make this twenty dollars. Right? Another twenty dollars goes out. Twenty dollars. So that's sixty dollars total. Subtract this. You got one hundred and thirteen dollars. Wow! And this guy's living large. Man, woohoo! Rock and roll. Guess what? Time to throw a party. Right? Throw another party. Oh, these guys had friends. These guys had friends. Everybody's got friends. They got a lot of money. They don't know what to do with. Let's give this guy our money. $50 billion worth. Right? You got the mathematician here going, what the? What are you guys crazy? What are you guys insane? <laughs> right? Can't last, right? No, it didn't last. Got burned at the end. After 20 years, the guy got caught, right? Crazy, crazy.
this sounds like most multi-level marketing scheme yeah that's what it is that's a ponzi scheme right i have some friends who are constantly hounding people to join their team yeah kind of genius problem is a lie always winds up biting you in the ass inevitably yeah now they are making profits <laughs> is this how social security works social security is a different beast man social security is it's is done for right one of the reasons it's done for let's talk about social security here let me let me give you a little lay down of social security just why this ponzi scheme is in, is absolutely insane all right so let me erase this fun <laughs> right 